Hey guys, Craig here, Old Bay Craps, and we're having a little bit of a frustrating day, technical day, trying to get everything situated. So we're going to try this one more time. All right, I've got two views, just throwing you my throwing view, my throwing lane, the landing zone, the dice. Roll tracker, I don't know if it's going to work. It's on, off, on, off. Uh, there seems to be a lag. I can't explain why because I'm not a techie person and all the techie people I know are in Atlantic City, so I'm not bothering them. I want them to do well. All right, we'll figure it out. Here we go. All right, we're gonna, just going to hit numbers, see what we can do with the box numbers. Um, we're not going to do a pass. Well, I'll do a $5 pass line because I don't really feel like playing the pass line. But uh, So even though it's a $5 table, we're going to play like it's a $25 table. Um, all right, so let's get a point. We're going to be doing the 4242 hardway set that I've been practicing uh, with the throwing down the field and trying to go for the 12 on the opposite side of the table when throwing, and then we'll do go through the 4242 rotation. Dice out. All right, we're going to have a 6-2, easy 8. Let's see if that'll punch in. Seems to be a delay with this tracker. Let's see if that goes in. All right, eight's going to be the point. We're going to go ahead and go 160 across. Then we're going to try some hyper pressing. So it looks like it took the eight. That's a plus. So hyper pressing, uh, the way Nemo uh, intended it, is dice out. We have a hard six. He intended it for when you hyper press, when the number hits. So the six just hit. We're going to win 35. He hyper presses it, which means we're going to take it from a $30 bet to 120 and rack 50. Now, if the hit if the 6 hits again, we will win 140 and we'll take the bet down to 50% of 120 so down to a $60 bet and we'll keep going back and forth like that um, to see if we can get all the way up to purple chip level dice out and we have a 2-1 shocker that's no help to anybody I'm going to go ahead and pitch down to 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. Dice out. And we have a 6-5 yo. And I might start playing the uh, horn a little bit or the field if we're going to be rolling. Because these sets are supposed to get me, for me, not for everybody, um, outside numbers and horns. So... The five dollar table, we'll do ten dollars in the field. And you guys know as soon as you put money in the field and you've got bets across, all you really have is an aggressive uh, iron cross, you know what I'm saying? Which is a, a bleeder for the most part. Dice out, and we have a 415, and that's why they call it a bleeder because. You're going to lose the field. You're going to win on the five. But the $35 win just became a $25 win because you lost 10 in the field. All right. So we win 35. We're now going to take hyper press the five to 100. Take back 60. 
The reason I like the hyperpressing is A, it's aggressive. And let's get that 4 1 in. But B, you're always collecting something. Um, you're usually collecting your initial bet and what you want on the initial bet when you then go to hyperpress. And then even if you do hit it, um, you're regressing again. And I think it's a good recovery dice out, as much as it's an aggressive system. That's a no roll dice off table. And of course it's just too much talking on my end, but I'm trying to explain this thing, these things to you guys who are maybe new to the game or are looking to go to the tables with a lower bankroll. All of these uh, system quirks, all the system quirks apply to, apply to your play. So we have a 2-5, so we actually got back 2-3-5. We got back on that 5 for 100. Like I said, it's going to win 140. And now we're going to regress the bet by 50% to 60 and take back 205. That's what I like about it. I'm going to put my reds over here. And we got that 235 in? Yeah. All right, we're going to stick with the 5454. Dice out. And that hit right in the spot we wanted it to, but like I said, this set gives me outside numbers and horns mostly. So instead of a field, this time we're going to do $20 horn bet. Dice out. And we overshot our landing by about 8 inches, but it's going to be a 156. Which is great because we had already hyper pressed the six. And that's going to win 140. Oh, and the five wasn't supposed to go to 60, it was supposed to go back down to 50. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to win 140 on the six. We're now going to take the six back down to a $60 bet. And we're going to take 225 back to the rack. All right, keep going here. Uh, I think we were ready to rotate it to three five three five, and we lost this horn bet. Dice out, and that hit right where we wanted, but it gave us a horn. One two three. So I think we're going to alternate the field. And the horn. We're going to do 10 in the field. Because really, if you're going to do an iron cross, and the, right now we're pressed up on the 5 and 6, but the 8 only has 30 on it, you want to do 3 times the bet. So 3 times 10 is 30. And that's the minimum you want to do if you're going to do an iron cross of any kind. All right, three five three five. Dice out. That was really low. We were lucky. That was really a, a too low of a throw for my comfortability. But we hit the point. Five three eight. But again, it's not a field number, is it? All right, we're going to collect 35, and we're going to go back down to base. So we'll be collecting 90, and we win 5 on the pass line. 
All right, we're ready to rock and roll. And we're not working the box numbers on the come out. We're going to start again with the 4242. Dice out. And we were a little left to our uh, landing zone. So that's going to lose on the pass line. We'll put that back up. We'll do a 25 horn high. We'll do a horn high yo. Dice out. And I felt those dice split right in my hand as soon as I picked them off the table. That would explain the explosion there. Two, three, five. Five's going to be the point. I'm going to lose a quarter on the horn. We're ready to go. Four two four two. Dice out. And it went off to the left, but buckshot hit the point. It's gonna win thirty-five. We'll just collect we'll just collect that. And it's gonna win five on the pass line. Pucks off. So the kind of roll we're having is we're having, you know, we'll look at it in just a second. Dice out. One, two, three. So as you can see in the numbers, we've hit, we established it with an eight. We hit the six, the five twice, the six, and the eight, so we had five box hits, but in between we had four horn hits, or four, four horns, excuse me. Then we got a, a, we hit the point of the eight, um, then we threw a horn, and we threw a, we established a point of five, then we hit the five, and then another horn. So, we're gonna lose the pass line, put that back up. Um, so in total, we're at a 14 roller, and we haven't really made much money. And that's what happens when you have a 10 plus roll, but the majority of it is horns, or half of it is horns. So if you're not betting the horn, you're not making money. So there's a hard four. So four is going to be the point. Same set, dice out, and we have a 4-6 easy 10. It's going to win 50. I guess we'll do vigs, try to keep it proper. Keep the vigs in the back. It's going to be 50 for one. And we're going to hyper press the 10 to 100. Bring back 75. And now we're going to pitch down to the 5454. Five, four. Hard 10. Right back on the 10. Beautiful. Hey, uh, that's going to win 200 for five. And now we're going to take the bet down 50% to 50 and rack 300. Who doesn't love that? 
Who doesn't love that? When you're able to get be successful with the hyper pressing, you're going to make money. Dies out. There's that three again. We could do an all day ace deuce, but I've done that before and I've bled out about a hundred bucks for no reason. So we're just gonna. We don't care. We're not gonna buy into it. We're just concerned about box numbers. Dice out. And that's dice off the table, no roll. That totally went to the right. I don't think I would focus very well. Alright, try it again. Five four five four. Concentrate. Dice out. That was better landing. It went a little bit to the left. But we got a three two five. Fever five. It's gonna win thirty-five. Gonna take down the twenty-five. Hyper press it to 100. Bring 60 back to the rack. And we're ready to go. Now we're going to double pitch it down to a 3 5, three, five. Dice out. And we have a hard four. Hit the point. Howdy doody, awesome day. Puck's going to come off. Going to get paid 50 for one. And here's the beautiful thing, folks. We go right back to base. So that means we're bringing 150 back to the rack. And we're ready to go. So again, we restart right back on the 4242. Oh, we get a, a nickel on the pass line. That helps pay for those vigs. Dice out. Right on that 12. Right back, back to back hard fours. Now, at this point, you know. You don't know what's going to happen, but you could pick up the hard ways. Because we've been throwing hard ways. Dice out. Right back on that 12. Oh my gosh. Hard four again. Back to back to back. So the puck comes off. We're going to win 50 for one on the box. The hard four is going to win 35. We're going to press the hard four a nickel. And we're going to bring 80 back to the rack. Here we go. That landed a little bit before the 12. I think it landed more towards the, uh, on the 11 in the field. But it's going to be a 4-1-5. Five. Five is going to be the point. Whoops. I just, you know, I unknowingly just crashed through the hard ways. Wasn't even paying attention. It's like I forgot they were there. All right. Gonna go ahead and pitch down to the five four five four. Dies out. And they kissed each other and came back and kissed again for a hard six. I like that. Alright, it's gonna win 35 on the six. The hard six. It's gonna win 50 for five.
And we'll bring the greens back. And we're going to hyper press it up to 120. And we're going to go ahead and press the hard six by five. Five, four, five, four. Dice out. Right on that 12. Hard 10. Hot damn. Yes, ma'am. It's going to be 50 for one. And the hard 10 is going to pay 35. We're going to press the hard 10 by five. We're going to hyper press to 100. Bring back 105 to the rack. And we're going to stick with the 5454. Five, five, Dice out. That was way too low of a throw. Way too low. I think that landed on the 9 or the 10. That's going to be a midnight. And we just hit the horn repeater. Horn repeater. Nice. Didn't have anything on the horn. All right, we're gonna go back down to or pitch it down twice to the five or three five three five. Dice out, and we'll be right back on that ten. Beautiful, because we have it hyper pressed. Six four. Let's get that in there. We're gonna lose the hard ten. However, we're gonna win. 200 for 5, and now we're going to take the bet down to by 50% to 50, and we're going to rack 300. That's a hell to the yeah. So we're going to come back up on the hard 10 for just 5. And we're right back with the 3-5, three, 3-5 five, three, five dice set. Dice out. Right on that 12. And we got the horn. 6 5 yo. Does nothing for us on the board. But it does make us want makes me want to play a, a field. 6 5 set. Dice out. Right on that 12. I like it. Got the three two five point hit. That's a field loser, unfortunately. And we're only gonna win thirty-five there. Five on the pass line. So we're gonna take it all back to the rack. As well as we're gonna regress our six back down to thirty and rack that black. And the ten. So we have enough here. I want to take the green to the back of the rack. Puck comes off. And let's go. Right back on the 4-2-4-2. Four, two, four, two. Dice out. And we went to the left. Saw that. But it's going to be a 5-3, easy 8. Eight's going to be the point. We weren't working, so we don't uh, get paid on the 8, nor do we lose our hard way. Dice out. I think we hit right on the outside of that 12. 
Another ace deuce. Sure hitting those today. Well, you'll notice what we're not hitting is back-to-back -back horns. And that's where it can cause a bleed if you keep playing it, but we're degenerates, so I'm gonna do a $20 horn. Dice out. And that was right on the edge of the, right outside the 12. It's gonna be a 6 4 10. And we just lost the, gonna lose the hard 10. Sorry about that. Oh, there it goes again. It's being a pickle. Sorry, folks. Apologize. I don't want to end this feed because we're doing so well. Bear with me, folks. Can't believe this is happening. Such a great roll, too. Now we can't see the four, that's great. All right, I think we're good. Sorry about that. We got the roll in. We did not pay ourselves on the 10. It's gonna be 50 for one. We're now gonna hyper press it to 100. Take 75 back to the rack. Where's my stick? So we lost the horn. And we're going to bring the hard 10 back up for 5. Obviously, if we throw a big red here, is anybody going to be surprised? Couldn't have been any more of a disruption. Dice out. Got a leaner, but it's going to be a 3... Well, it's going to be a 516. Thought it was going to be a 314. It's going to win 35. We're going to lose our hard six. We're not going to put the hard way back up. But we are going to take the six to 120 and bring back 50. Same set, three, five, three, five. Dice out. There's the one, three, four. It's going to win 50. I'm going to need more ones, more vigs. We're going to lose the hard four. And we're going to hyper press up to 100 and bring back 75. And we're going to pitch it down to the 2 3 2 3. Dice out. And it hit right here. 
right to the right of the word field. That kind of sucks. 617. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. You want to know why? That was a 35 roller. A 35 roller. And we actually had three bets hyperpressed. We had 400 out there on the layout on just the box numbers. Extra 15 on the hard ways in the pass line. But that was a 34 roller. And you know what? We made money. So we'll do it. Uh, do you want to go one more time? Let's go one more time. $5 pass line. Let's establish a point. Hopefully the camera stays where it's supposed to. Uh, we're going to start with the 4242 again. Days out. That was a higher arc, um, but you can see the dice split. That's okay, it's a front line winner, 4-3. We're just going to press it to 10, parlay it if you will. That's when you want to have your 7s. Dice out. And then hit right where I wanted it to. 415. 5 is going to be the point. I'm going to come back out with 160 across. And this is the second shooter, so we're going to go ahead and bring up hard ways for five each. Same set, 4-2-4-2, dice out. That went a little bit to the right, but it's going to be a 1-5 easy six. It's going to win 35. I'm going to take it to 120. Bring 65 back to the rack. And we're going to lose the hard six. And since we're really going for box numbers, I'm not really interested in replacing the hard ways. Dice out. No roll. Dice off the table. If you want to know, it was it was, it was aces that uh, it was a one that went off the table. Same set, same dice. That went off to the left, but we hit the point for one. So we're going to win 35. And this time, instead of regressing on that, I'm going to go ahead and hyperpress it. Bring 60 back to the rack. Actually, 65 or 70 because we won 10 on the pass line. And I'm going to regress that back down to 5 on the pass line. We're going to see what we can do. See if we can get these. Hyper presses to pay off. Dice out. Hit the 11. 1 3, easy 4. Oh, that's, 4 is the new point. So we're not going to make anything on the 4 yet. That was just to establish the point. Dice out. We have a 6 5 yo. That 
doesn't help us. But we're degenerates, so we're gonna do a quarter in the field. Dice out. Another no roll. Sorry, keep on, uh, oh, I don't even know where that went. Did it go on the ground? Oh, it went behind the rubber. That's a no roll. Dice out. And three, four, seven. Why not, right? All right, we lost a little bit on that one because we kept our, our bets out there. When we changed over, we didn't regress. All right, let's go one more shooter. And this time, we're going to be working on the come out. And we're also going to be a little bit more aggressive. We're going to start with 320 across. Here's our $5 pass line. That was only a, what, five roller? Six roller? Here we go. Dice out. Hard four. Four is going to be the point. We were working. It's going to get a hundred for two, and we're going to hyper press it to four hundred. Rack fifty. No, that's not the case. Yes, two hundred. Sorry, two hundred. That will be hyper pressing fifty dollar bet on the four. I'm going to pitch it down to the 5454. Five, four. Dice out. That went really high. That was a high arc. I didn't want that to be, but 2 4 easy 6. It's going to win 75 for 5. And we're going to take it to 210 and bring 125 back to the rack. And you can do anything you want here. I mean, you can, if you, you know, if you want to, um, you know, just get three numbers hyper-pressed, and if it doesn't happen on the next roll, you know, you can just go back to base. You can do whatever you want. All right, five, four, five, four. Dice out. And that's right where I wanted. Perfect. Because that's also the point. 3-1. Beautiful. So the puck's going to come off. Going to win 5 on the pass line. Going to win 400 for 10. And you bet your bottom dollar we're going to regress. And we're going to go back to 160 across. And back to not working on the come out. So we're actually bringing 800 and 60 dollars back to the rack. 65 if you count the pass line win. All right, here we go. 4242. Four, two. Dice out. That sounded rushed. I apologize, that did sound rushed. Maybe I'm just out of breath, I don't know. 6-5 yo, that's a come out winner. We're just gonna parlay it.
dies out. And that hit the 11. So I was a little short of where I wanted to throw it or land it. But it, nonetheless, it's going to be a 3 1 4. 4 is going to be the point. And we're ready to rock and roll. Four two four two. Dice out. Right on that twelve. I like that one. Five one six. Some in the community call it a mixer. Mr. Cheer of Mid Mill Yo, check him out and check Chris Sideshow Gamble out. He's the one that came up with the five one mixer. Uh, Chiro says it's a uh, KitchenAid mixer, which is hilarious because he actually has it on his table. All right, we're going to win 35 on the 6. We're going to take the 6, hyperpress it to 120, take back 50. Did we get the 5 1 in there? We did. All right, going to take the set, pitch it down to the 5 4 5 4, which is a sideshow gamble. Uh, and I'm going to put some links to their pages on this. I just love those guys. This is his set. He does the 5 4 5 4. Dice out. And we have a 6 5 yo. And that's a mid mo yo. See, these guys, when you miss them, their dice rolls just keep coming up. All right, since the it came up again, the yo, I'm going to go ahead and do a field bet. And we're going to do the 5 4 5 4 again. Dice out. And that hit right there. So it didn't go far enough. But it's going to be a 1 2 3. And that is a field winner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the 4 and 10 a quarter each. And I'll treat it as if it was the initial bet. So if it hits, we're going to um, hyperpress to 200. Same set. Dice out. And that's a no roll dice off table. Definitely went to the right. I think it landed somewhere around the pass line. That was a horrible throw. I'm going to go to the next set, 3535. Three, five. Dice out. Much better throw. And it's going to be a 235. Oops, overshot the dice cam there. That's going to win 35. I'm going to hyper press it to 100. Take 60 back. So now we have two bets, hyperpressed. Same set. Dice out. That hit right before the 12. Whoops, that was a two. Got a hard four though. It hit, I think, right, right there. Okay, just want to make sure you, you can see. And that was the point, everybody. So that's going to be 100 for 2. Puck's going to come off. We're going to win on the pass line. We had 10 on it, so we're going to win 10. We're going to take it back down to a $5 bet. And... We're going to bring 315 back to the rack. Nice. So we're back to the 4242. Dice out. So I know this video is going a little long, and we had some problems in the beginning. So three, it's going to be a lose on the pass line. 
we're just going to ladder it up to a ten dollar bet on the pass line and when you're in profit like this you can take a little bit more chance um, on the come out like making your bets work I'm not going to do that but you could dice out right on that 12 and we have aces I'm going to lose on the pass line again. I'm going to ladder up to a $15 pass line. And we're also going to add, we'll do a horn high yo. Same set. Where did they roll back? Got a three, one, four. Four is going to be the point. I knew I should have put this quarter in the field, but I didn't. It's okay. All right, four is going to be the point. Four, two, four, two. Dice out. And I noticed something on that one. Um, so it's going to be a 549. We're going to win 35 on the 9. We're now going to take the 9 up, hyper press it to 100. Take back 60. And what happened on that one was, well, now that I've been talking about it, I kind of forgot. I think it was short. I'm not sure. All right. We're going to go to the 5454. Five, five, there we go, ace deuce. Again, another horn. It hit where I wanted it to, it was low. So we'll do a field bet this time because we did a horn bet last time. I'm going to go to 3535. Five. Dice out. And then hit right on the, I think the word double beyond the 12. It's going to be a 6 4 easy 10. Going to win 50 for one. We're also going to win in the field. Just going to exchange that. So we've got um, 100 hyper press to 100 on the 10, and just rack the rest of the greens. Same set. We have aces. So I told you this this uh, this rotational rotation is part of the set uh, hits horns. Just can't hit consecutive horns it seems. I think we did it earlier, but so what we'll do we'll do another quarter in the field. Same set. Dice out. And that hit right where we wanted. Didn't hit the back wall, but it hit the side of the wall, side wall for a 2-2 two, two hard four, which is a point hit. So that's going to win 50 for one. It's also going to win in the field. And we're going to take the 9 and 10 back down to base and bring 250 back to the rack. All right, on this next shooter, we're going to go with the hard ways. 
We're also going to bet a quarter in the field on the come out. Oh, we also win 15 on the pass line. Back to the 4-2-4-2. Four, two, four, two. Dice out. Hit right on that 12. And that's another hard four. Unbelievable. Four is going to be the point. Uh, the hard ways and the box numbers weren't working, but the field was. So that's going to be a winner there. And we're just going to press the... Actually, we're going to take this. We're going to press the hard 10 and hard 4 to 25 each. Rack 10. Did we get that in there? We did. So uh, we're already on a new point. Or was that the point? Oh, that is the new point. 4 again. I got it. Losing my mind here. Here we go. That went off to the right. It's going to be a 415. It's going to win 35. I'm going to take hyper press up to 100. And this time, we're going to press the 4 and 10 and just rack 10. We're going to go to the 5454. Five, four. Dice out. Dice off table, no roll. I swear, if that wall wasn't there behind the table, that wall would have gone another uh, 12 feet. So I need to ease up on the power. I think we're doing the 5454. Five, four. Dice out. And there's the one six seven, folks. All right, didn't happen. Let's go ahead and color up. Let's make sure we get that in there. Got the seven. And let's go ahead and color up. So there's a thousand. Is that a thousand? Yep, that's a thousand. That's what we started with. There's a purple chip. There's another purple chip. Alright, we had a $1,000 bankroll. We made $500,000, on a $1,000 bankroll. Just playing the box numbers and hyper-pressing and regressing. Uh, great job. Awesome. Loved it. And there, and there goes the camera. So uh, let's see if I can get the camera up one more time just so I can say goodbye. It's really being something today.
All right, I think it's going to stay up for about two seconds. So I want to thank you all for joining me. Hit the like and subscribe. This has been a wild ride for today, but I really like the format on the video. So um, hopefully it sticks. And uh, I really like practicing this way as well. This is a good angle. Um, I will try to get some some shorts out of all these videos I've been doing so you can kind of see my toss. But um, I'm also working with hyperpressing and some regressing and recovery and collecting and um, it's been pretty good so far. So thanks for joining me. Hit the like and subscribe, share, hit the notification. And when you're at your tables, season your bets. Thanks.